what is a title abstract? This is Dave at titlesearch.com, an AFX title. Uh, title abstract is not something you'll find in the public records. It's not something you'll find at the courthouse. It's not something you'll find at the deed recorder. A title abstract is the official document of a title search that gives you the official title status. So let's walk through the process and see what's in public records and what's not in public records. A title abstract starts out by first identifying the property to be searched. It may seem like a small step. However, if you have an address of 12 Main Street, you want to make sure that the legal records you're looking at match that street address. A street address is normally only used by the post office to identify where you bring the mail. It's not something that's a legal description of a property or the title records. So you do that first. That's outside the land records. Once you have that established, then you go inside the land records. It could be the county courthouse, could be the deed recorder, could be the civil court records. You have to go to all of those places. On most properties, there's five or six sources you need to physically visit to get documents to create a title. Uh, they could be deeds, mortgages, liens, easements, restrictions, assignments, um, releases, uh, mineral rights, any type of records will be found in multiple places. So you have to run a name index in each one of those places to find all the documents that go with the owner of that property. Uh, once you have that name index run, then you retrieve all of those pieces of paper from the books, from the microfilm, from the deed books, uh, possibly from archives. The documents you're going to find are going to look something like this. You're going to find deeds, mortgages, liens uh, from history of that property. Some of them may be paid off, some may be assigned, that'll come later. The first thing you do is retrieve all of those. Next thing you do is you collect them into um, a folder and the title examiner who is performing this search will then go outside the courthouse and do analyzation, what's called abstracting. Going to read through each one of those documents to see is it still an open document? Does it actually affect that property? Has it been paid off or cleared by another document? Is it been um, abstracted previously so that a release goes with a mortgage to clear it off? Does it uh, re represent a mortgage being assigned to another lender? Does it represent a lien that's been paid off or is it on that property uh, maybe in addition to other properties? Are there judgments against the person individually that even though they're not officially in the land records, they may affect that property's title? All those things are part of that abstracting analysis process that takes as much time, if not more, than actually pulling the documents from public records. Next thing you do is a cross-reference, see if there's any other connections between documents. If one document um, you know, added to another one means that the ownership has changed. And then once you've done all that, you actually create that certified title abstract document. That's the official uh, document of a title search. That's what's provided to a client, whether it be an attorney, title company, mortgage company, or even a, a private individual looking to get a title search. That's what's created as part of that abstract of title. Only part of that is in the uh, public records and land records. That's where the documents come from, but they're used to create that title abstract. And that abstract is only good for that one period of time. A week or two or three weeks later, those property records may have changed and that abstract may not be valid. Uh, the longest most professionals will use a title abstract for is about 30 days and then they're going to want a new search to make sure nothing's been updated. Uh, so that's an abstract of title or a title abstract. It's a, a piece of paper that's created uh, by a professional title searcher. It's not something that's in the land records. Uh, the documents that are used to create it come from the land records, but it's uh, created by private industry. If you have any other questions about title searches, title abstracts, or even title records, you can reach us at our website at titlesearch.com.